Well, as you know, today is a special day for us. Uh, once every three months, we get the privilege and the blessing of participating uh, in foot washing ceremony and as well as communion. Um, I always look forward to this day because personally it gives me the opportunity again, I reflect back in the past three months since the last communion. Um, I see the mistakes I've made, I've seen the attitude I possess, uh, I've seen the frustration, I see my mistakes, my sins, and what an awesome God we have. Amen. That we get to do this as a symbol mm -hmm. of a mini baptism. Yes. And we get to participate in Christ's broken body mm -hmm. and be cleansed and purified with the wine of his, you know, which represents his blood. You know, I know a lot of churches, all churches I believe, have communion service. Some have it every week, some every other week, once a month, whatever. But Jesus said that whenever you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Do this in reflection of what I have done for you. I have given all of myself to you to the point of death on the cross. And through my Father's will and blessing has raised me. And his tomb is empty today. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he's seated at the right hand of the Heavenly Father in heaven right now. And he's doing this final work. This is a moment for all of us to reflect and just thank God and praise his holy name all over again for cleansing us of yes. our errors, our wrong choices, our mistakes. There's so much purpose in this ceremony that we're participating in today. And it all leads back to the cross, amen? amen? And it leads back to probably the greatest gift that we've ever received. And I know Jesus is, but even maybe a step further, that our Heavenly Father was willing to sacrifice His only begotten Son, that we could have eternal life. Mm -hmm. And I just like I said, I love this service. I love what it represents. I love what it does for me personally. And the conviction it gives me and the, the, the peace and the joy, the fruits of the Spirit that just hovers all over me all over again. Um, it's hard sometimes um, for me personally to, to participate in this service because I do see my mistakes every day. Uh, some of them, you know, worse than others. But with that said... The saving grace of the blood of Jesus Amen. saves us all Amen. and has given us the assurance of salvation as long as we never take our eyes off of him. Mm -hmm. And we claim him before the throne of God. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody says. There is not a God out there like our living God. Mm -hmm. And how mm -hmm. blessed we are to be his representation. Willfully we choose to honor and obey Him because we love Him. Uh, many faiths out there teach obedience first and faith follows and salvation comes after that. As, as obedience and faith equals salvation. That, that is very dangerous. God said, choose me first because you've chosen me first. Because you've chosen to love me, you will choose to be obedient to me. And because of that, salvation is abundant. And it's, it's a shame that so many of us out there in this world today, all the different various denominations of faith, how we cannot be unified. The word is simple. The word is pure. Jesus is our example. We should walk the way he walked. We should talk the way he talked. And we should love the way he still loves. 
And, and that's what we have to remember. And again, praise the Lord for this moment. Um, you know I never give a full sermon on Communion Day just because, you know, it's special to all of us. We will go downstairs here in a minute to do our foot washing uh, ceremony, which is such a blessing. Um, and again, the foot washing just brings us back to the reflection that we are not greater than our Master. And if our master, being Jesus Christ, was willing to wash his disciples' feet, then we should be able to honor him by washing one another's feet for his glory. Uh, again, Jesus has done everything to give us the greatest example of what true love is. Amen. And he asked that we mimic that love for his kingdom, for his honor and glory, because of the blood that he spilled for all of us. So with that said, that's all I have to, to say today. Um, cherish this moment. And, and I don't say this in discouragement because we don't know if anything will happen to any of us between now and our next communion service. And so cherish what Jesus has done for us every single day between now and then Amen. as it was our last day. Because, my gosh, the blood, as the song goes, there's power in the blood. Amen. And uh, <clears throat> it is almighty. It is all pure. It is too perfect. And it comes from God, who is on Jesus. Amen? Amen? With that said, let's go ahead and participate in our foot washing ceremony downstairs. For those who